everyone. I sincerely hope that all is well with you and you're ready for today's lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about most important English confusing words. Uh, especially the first word, which is spelled as a P R I M E R. And the second word, which is a Spelled as P R I M E R, as well as the third word, which is spelled as P R O D U C E, and the fourth word, which is also spelled as P R O D U C E. And after that, for each word, I will give you its meaning, then I will use it in a sentence to explain it. Without more ado, let's dive in. Um, these four words, what are they? They are heteronyms. And what are heteronyms? Um, heteronyms are words that are spelled the same. However, though, um, they have uh, different uh, meanings uh, and uh, different uh, pronunciations, but sometimes the same pronunciation in some rare cases. Um, now, let's view our word one by one. Um, the first word, which is spelled as P-R-I-M-E-R, -E is pronounced as a prima. Repeat after me, prima. Um, it is a noun which is a small elementary book for teaching children to read. Let's get an example for it. Um, this uh, primer was uh, my son first book and uh, he loves uh, it. Um, move on to our second word which is uh, also spelled as a P R I M E R. Um, it is uh, pronounced as a primer as well. And it is a noun, meaning an undercoat of paint or painting material. Let's get an example for it. Um, our house pen Apply a primer before painting the walls. And now move on to our third word which is uh, spelled as a P R O D U C E. Um, it is uh, a verb and it is pronounced as uh, produced. Pro Repeat after me. Produce. So it is a verb as I told you before and it means to make something or bring something into existence. Let's get an example for it. They wake for a company that produces Motor 
cycles. And uh, finally, our last word is spelled as a P R O D U C E. And it is pronounced as a produce. Repeat after me produce. And it is a noun, meaning food that is grown through farming to be sold like fruits and vegetables. Let's have our final example. Our city market has fresh produce every morning um, that brings us to the end of today's lesson I behest you enjoy it. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Watch until the end. Give a like, share, and a comment. Because this might be the only way to help and assist me to continue doing content. As well, do not forget to watch the next episode in order to increase your vocabulary, especially about confusing words. Thanks for studying today and I be wherever you are, you're having a great day. Bye.